everybody, Robert Dunn from arttop10.com and I'm here today in Chiswick, just outside London, at this absolutely fascinating exhibition. Now, all the people in this exhibition have been taught by my great friend Pete Burgess. Now, he's been teaching them from his studio for the last couple of years, and this is the first exhibition many of them have been in. There's about 70 paintings all in all, and it's a fascinating thing. Let's go and have a look around. Lovely to see you well, today. How are you? Thanks yeah, for coming. Good. Very good. No, good love it. What do you think of the show? Stunning. Really, really good. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I I'm love really the way pleased you've, with it. You've got, like, this is Norman's work behind us, isn't this it? This is Norman. Yeah. And um, you've got my nice, first student. Yeah, one of, one of your first students. But there's yeah. lovely consistency. You can see, you know, they've been finding their own style. I'm, I'm really thrilled by it. The general approach um, that I take is to try and encourage everyone to paint in their own way. Okay. And I think that's really come through. I mean, this is a fabulous exhibition. There's so much here, so much different stuff as well. Yeah. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's excellent. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's yeah, so, first of many, I hope. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. so what, what was the inspiration behind getting them to do an actual show as opposed to just sort of well, working away in the studio? If you think about the fact that people start and everyone's got imposter syndrome, I can't do it, <laughs> we are not worthy, everyone can paint better. <laughs> And you yeah. go from that, and the other end of that process is thinking, well, if someone else can do a show, I can do it. Yeah, absolutely. So Why not? The, the last, um, last term, uh, the, the students have been working towards finally getting it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and putting on a show, and here we are. Oh, 100% believe in that. Yeah. You, know, you know there's that story about U2, that once they got a reverb box, they decided they had all they needed for you a just, gig. You need a high ceiling or a reverb box. Yeah, you need a high ceiling or a reverb box. <laughs> Maybe a fuzz can, box as well. A fuzz <laughs> box as well, exactly. <laughs> but no, I think you're absolutely right. The whole point of painting is to get the paintings out there, not to um, lurk hidden in a darkened cellar. Well, it takes an extra effort of, uh, of imagination it, to, 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 to really be prepared to stand up and say, this is what I do. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, it's very personal. You're, you're yeah. revealing yourself when you, when you paint, unless you're a real hardened pro. Yeah. They'd probably rather not be like that. Like us, hardened pro. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take it, take the blows. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, you just don't know what people are going to say. You don't know if they're going to like it. And it's great to get to that point where you think, well, this is what I do, you know. Uh, you can take it or leave it. You can be rude about it, you can love it, you can buy it. And yeah. quite a few people have been buying well, things lost, here. I'm not sure I'll say it. Yeah, so, you know, that proves the point, really. The
Norman. Hello, Rob. Lovely to see you. Hello. So I've, uh, I've been into your um, uh, tutorial sessions with uh, Pete. Right. And I've loved, I've loved seeing your paintings change as they go along. So this, this is your bonanza painting area in the show, isn't it? Well, I feel, feel very honoured to have this spot here. I think it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's lovely. I, I like the dark background. Um, yeah, the, uh, it I, actually gives a really wild feeling, this sort of theatre curtain. That's right. Yeah. Well, I've never had the chance to see them all together. Before, no, which is which is a very nice thing. It is a really, it is actually a fascinating thing about exhibitions. Finally, see them all together and see the progress. But I love the fact to see there's a kind of style through them. Thank you. Well, I, I feel it's a bit of voice that's that's been developed over the last year or so, and it, it's, okay. I'm I'm happy with it. It's pretty, oh. very comfortable. It's Excellent. good. It's good. So, do you have a favourite? <laughs> okay. When I was, when I was asked that yesterday, I said okay. uh, I feel equally. I I like them all very much yeah. and I want to keep them all and I'd be very happy if somebody else had them as well <laughs> so I I don't think I, well maybe maybe this one this one um, yeah this because it, one. it was such a a magic place to go and visit where, where is it it's in southern Spain okay near, near Gibraltar okay near the coast no. and when you arrive yeah. it's just this view and it you know it takes, it takes you back like this so that's done from memory, but it's, okay, it's how the, memory, from, well, I had some photographs, but didn't okay. didn't have them beside me when I was painting. So sure, sure. it's it's just how you remember the bits of it yeah. in, in your mind. And um, that's yeah. really interesting. I like it. It's got a nice sense of space. Oh, thanks. Going yeah. back in a nice. Yeah. I like the red underpainting that comes through. Well, I thought originally, I thought originally I'd paint over the red, but I but I decided. Yeah, leave it. I just, we decided. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, with a little help. <laughs> with a little help, my I friend. Just, I decided. <laughs> oh, it's really cool. Yeah. I really like that one. And yeah. I, like, I think my other favourites are... I like this one. Actually, actually I've been looking at this one today, right. which I hadn't, I hadn't looked at probably before, no. but I like these sort of blocky shapes on the left-hand side. Of the well, tree. I wanted sort of li live trees, you know, so they were yeah. moving around against this very formal, classical... Yeah. It's extraordinary that yeah. bit. That is really good. I, I thought, I don't want to paint the bridge because I won't get the arch right. It'll look wrong. So yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do this bit. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, do you feel the exhibition has given you more of a focus over the term? Or do you feel you've learned more about your painting from it? Oh, both those things. And yes. I think the focus of doing everything in a group, yeah. work, working together to get this in one room, yeah. and to see it all together is just great. It I, is great. I feel there's a... Well, I can feel a coherence. I don't know if everybody else sees it, but yeah. I think they think they fit together very nicely. They do. But they also, really thinking about finishing paintings to put on show yes. has been a, yes. a very good stimulus. It's, a very good stimulus. It's much better, isn't it, than just working? I, yes. it's working in a sort of ongoing space. It's nice to have a not so much a deadline, but a focus. Well, that, that's right. And of course, meeting fairly regularly yeah. gives you that gives you that, you that focus, so you don't allow yourself several weeks to stop thinking about yeah. it. <laughs> so we've been thinking about it for quite a long time. So yeah. now today is um, a great so, day. Very great good. Day. We're, all, we're all happy. <laughs>
which is quite fun. Same in this one here. Same in that one, yeah. You know, very, very quick uh, interpretation of what... They're, f they're fencing. They're fencing, that's yeah. what it looks like, yeah. 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 That's really cool. It's got a slight sort of... Um, like Tai Chi. Yes, it has. Feel to it. But if you could, yeah, the more you look at it, the, the, I mean, you can't see the the blade, but you got it in furs. But this one yeah. here is. Is that there? Yeah. Actually, I like, I like the way you've got the brown background. <coughs> they kind of, they're kind of like the, the, inside well, that, and fighting out of it at the same it, time. Yeah. I think it accentuates the movement. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, it's all a DV. I mean, I'm more of a. I'm, my, my history is, is architect. Yeah, no, I'm I remember you saying. Yeah. So. Uh, so now I'm into colour now, which is okay, okay. <laughs> in my nice. semi-retirement years. <laughs> <laughs> so um, have you got a favourite out of all these? Out of all this lot? Yeah. Um, I think it's probably this crazy one here. This yeah. one with the... Uh, yeah. It's actually, it's actually really good painting yeah. with all the people. Where, where are they? Spectating. It's uh, Wimbledon. Oh, it's Wimbledon? Yes. Yeah, it's, very it's, nice. The title is um, Double Fault. Double Fault. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, yeah. so, I mean, he's probably expressing his, uh, his yeah. horror at the... At the double fault. At the double fault. <laughs> <laughs> but all the others are pretty, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Actually, I like the uh, sort of little polka dots yeah, sneaking that's from, in. Yeah, that's from... We have a wonderful um, yeah. mentor teacher yeah, yeah. Who, who directs um, yeah. what we're doing. And uh, that's, that was why I remember his comment on that one. Yeah. It's <laughs> crazy. That's it? a little, adds a little sort of... Um, Abstraction well, it, it does. feeling to it, yeah, and a slightly bizarre variety of texture and colour yeah. and, uh, yeah, that's and really so cool. offsets from all the others. Yeah. Yeah. So, how's it been Not, getting getting ready for this exhibition? It's been very uh, very exciting. Really. Yeah. In fact, we no no idea that um, when it's all put together like this, that it's yeah, uh, it's, it's well, we're quite proud of what we've done. Absolutely, no, yeah. I mean, and I think, I think I think Peter's very proud of. Seeing all his, yeah, work, all the work that he's inspired to come together yeah. under one roof, which is oh, great. It is. Mm. it is. It's really. Yeah. Good. It's fascinating actually yeah. to see how much consistency there is in what the people have done. Yeah. And, and do you think having the focus of this exhibition has helped push your painting forward? Uh, it has. Yes, it definitely has. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because it, it, it's oh, definitely. So what something to work to is always a, something to work to is much a goal uh, or yeah. a target is is, is uh, very important. Good to see you. Good to see. You. So here we are at the exhibition. Are you excited now they're all on show? Yeah, <laughs> I'm really delighted. Yeah. I can't believe how different they look being they do, exhibited they? so nicely. Yeah, no, I yeah. Mean, and Michael Jackson is looking wonderful. Yes. He's more. <laughs> <laughs> He's not still around to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it'd have been here. Yeah, I would have invited him. <laughs> No, it's really cool. So ha have you enjoyed working towards the exhibition? Yeah, I've enjoyed it very much. Has it given you um, sort of focus? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. working with a group of other artists yeah. uh, regularly, yeah, once yeah, a week, exactly. has given me a bit of self-discipline, which yeah. I don't have much of. No, Even though I'm a vicar, I should have a bit more self-discipline, <laughs> but I don't. I need that to kind of... Yeah. Make me do it, and so I've, yeah, no, I've been enjoying it very much. No, it, yeah. looks, it looks, all of the exhibition looks really good, and I think it's so nice to see like all the different pieces. Yeah. Each person has done together because you see a kind of consistency in their work. Yeah. Yeah. So this is actually your church. It, it is. Yeah. It's uh, our side chapel. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so it was good to do that, although challenging. Challenging. Yes. Yeah. Is it more challenging to do? somewhere like that that was so personal? Um, not so much that, it's just the architecture I find yeah. quite challenging. Yeah. Whereas I've always drawn people and faces all yeah. my life. Yeah. I've been interested in drawing 
people and their settings, but architecture I find quite challenging. Because <laughs> your other paintings over here, they're very much people. Yes. People oriented. Yeah, which is kind of what I really love to do. Yeah. yeah. Because I like to, yes, try to capture something okay. about the person in the portrait. Yeah, because no, I remember we were chatting, when we were chatting at uh, Pete's class the other week, we were talking about trying to get more than just an image, trying to get the essence of something. Yeah. There. So, like this one of my husband. You know, he is a very forthright person yeah. who will really look you in the face and yeah. in a fearless kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of wanted to capture that. So having this like full front full yeah. but, um, picture of him no, says good. something yeah. about his character. No, it's good. And uh, like uh, so I'm yeah. trying to do a little bit of that, I, I suppose. No, it's really cool. I think it's, I think it's especially nice to see, the, to see all of these together in the exhibition, isn't it? Yeah. And you can, they play off each other, don't they? Like, I like looking at her eyeballs and then there, <laughs> and you go yeah. around seeing how they yeah. interact. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, so would okay. you, would you um, suggest all those other artists out there should have an exhibition? So we could push oh, towards their work. Absolutely. I think we should, yeah, everyone should be painting. It's very good, it's very <laughs> good for the soul. It I feel is. it nourishes it the soul. So, yeah. you know, it's not about, I don't know, being perfect. And I think for a lot of people, afraid of painting or drawing because oh gosh I'm not good enough all that sort of thing yeah. but um, it's just a, a really yeah. good nourishing thing to do good. so I'd kind yeah. of encourage people to have a go because that's all I'm doing really so yeah oh.
Mokla.